Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and this is Venomtines Day. So happy Venomtines Day to you guys. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot this intro real quick uh, to show you guys what I got at the comic book store. I was I just happened to get today off again. I always like when I get Wednesdays off, but today I just I'm not feeling that well, and I just was like I don't want to drive down to Hollywood and and visit Golden Apple. Plus some of the books that came out aren't on my pull list, so I was like I could just go buy House of Secrets and pick up a few things. And I'm glad I did because I found a couple little. Uh, uh, extra things as well. Uh, so I do have this first and foremost, and we're going to give the code out. So boom, right there is the code X-Men Blue number 21. This is the Venom X-Men crossover part two. And uh, yeah, Poison X, check it out. It's awesome. I haven't flipped through these yet. Well, actually, that's not true. I flipped through the next book a little bit, uh, but we'll, uh, we're we're going to do some episodes coming up on comic books because uh, some of you guys have been asking me to review these books. And uh, you know what? On slow news weeks, maybe it is something I can do to help fill time and fill some episodes. So if you guys want that, let me know down in the comments and I'll do like really in-depth review of some of these issues. Maybe I'll let like two or three of them stack up and we'll review them all in one video. Uh, but there you go, X-Men Blue, enjoy that book. Um, this book I did take a peek at though, because I wanted to see if the, the symbiote showed up in it again, and boy does it. Uh, this book is turning out to be really awesome. I love the first issue, and I'm digging, I dug this, what I flipped through of this so far, so I can't wait to read this, and we're definitely gonna talk about this book at some point as well. I know it's not purely Venom related, but trust me, there's some cool symbiote action in there for sure. Uh, and then of course, my boy Scarlet Spider picked up the latest issue. This is a one-in-one -one story called Bad to the Bone, so it's just a single issue storyline. I love when comic book writers do this. Uh, there was a time where there was a like I think Peter David did he just did a whole like 20 issues in a row and they were all one and done stories and I like that it feels very episodic feels very much like a TV show and uh, I like when writers do that it doesn't happen a lot these days so when I get a single issue story I get really pumped uh, then I found some extra treats now these are cool uh, these are just random Infinity War number one uh, this was they I guess they got a collection recently at House of Secrets it's still smells like the the 90s comic book paper like i was like oh my god that's the that this has been kept in amazing condition uh, and they let me buy it for cover price which is 250. so infinity war uh issue one that was pretty cool to pick up uh these are great and we're going to definitely do an issue on these coming up this is uh i don't know if you guys remember this in the 90s but there was a time where marvel and dc like uh were crossing over and they did a mini series and we'll get into it we're definitely going to talk about it but i found issue two because i thought this was the one maybe venom was in there's actually I think, and now I know it's issue three, I believe, uh, Venom versus Superman. Uh, so they actually fight, uh, Venom and Superman fight. And, uh, and I think Spider-Man shows up for a brief moment too. But we're gonna do an, an episode on that fight and we're gonna do an episode about Batman fighting Carnage uh, and Spider-Man fighting Joker in that same book. So we're gonna do some Marvel DC fun. I know you guys have been asking about it. So when I saw this, again, guy sold it to me for really cheap. And then I picked these up. I think I already own these, but I just saw them and had to have them again. Uh, this is Dark Claw. So during that series, after issue issue two, all the Marvel and DC characters get merged together and make one character. And so Batman and Wolverine get mixed and become Dark Claw. Uh, so there you go. And then Superboy and Spider-Man get mixed to make Superboy or Spider-Boy. Uh, but then we have this symbiote character here, uh, as you can see, that looks kind of carnage-ish, but white. So uh, I can't remember that character that well. So we're going to read this and we'll talk about that. Uh, other versions of symbiotes from multiple, you know, mul the multiverse, I guess. We'll do an episode on that at some point too. So now I'm broke, but I get paid from work tomorrow. So that's fine too. Uh, and I got some groceries today too. So everything's good. Uh, but I'm going to take all my stuff, get my groceries, pack everything up and go inside. And then we'll do the next part of this video, which will be, uh, we'll just be looking at a lot of the Venom stuff coming out, just some artwork. And then I think there's an art Article that came out that showed some fan art of uh, from Venom, you know, movie related stuff, and I want to show you guys some of that artwork. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to look at is actually a website called the uh, it's called SciFied. Uh, com, and I'll put a link, all my links I'm going to put down below. Uh, they're going to be our first uh, bit of news today. Uh, this is going to mainly focus on artwork. That's what I wanted to do in this episode. It's uh, Valentine's Day, and I love artwork, and I love seeing people create things. And uh, I like to create things myself sometimes, and so uh, I thought we should do uh, some appreciation for that, uh, for, for this episode, because I was like, oh, what am I going to do for Valentine's Day? I, was, I thought about doing a whole episode of like, telling the love story of uh, Eddie Brock and the symbiote, but I just couldn't think of a really interesting and creative way to do it uh, with the amount of time I had because pretty much this is my only day off this week. So I was like, all right, I got to I gotta do something a little bit quicker than that and something that would take a little less work. So maybe maybe next year we'll do something very big for, for Valentine's Day. But um, 
Sci-Fi uh, had this neat article, which I thought was cool. Uh, they basically went out and looked for artists out there who were posting artwork of what they think Venom might look like in the movie uh, since we didn't get to see Venom in the trailer. And I thought that was a really interesting uh, and cool way to kind of spin that and be like, all right, hey, look, we didn't get Venom in the trailer. Some people are disappointed. Some people are fine with it because it's a teaser. Uh, no big deal. But uh, for the people out there that want to see something, uh, here are, are some artists that, you know, posted their work. And I'll start with this one first. Uh, it, it's a dope uh, Pope. Uh, and it looks, this image looks so insanely cool. Uh, the way the teeth come down, I'm looking at it right now on here, but you guys can see the image, uh, you know, whichever side I put on. Uh, but the head like like protruding out like and the eyes like it, they, there looks like red stitching and irritation around the eyes and you can see kind of like black in the in like mixed in with the white like veins in the eye and it just looks so cool the detail is great the tongue hanging out um the yeah, dope pope is awesome and i'll put a link to the sci-fi uh you know website and on there you can find the links to these artists uh so yeah definitely check this out uh the next one is from uh, uh dan luvis uh, Levisi Art, uh, Dan Levisi Art, I believe it's, uh, hopefully I'm not butchering your last name, uh, but this one's cool. It's another profile shot. This one's a little bit cleaner as far as like less veins and stuff, but there is still some shading on the white in the eyes. The teeth look <laughs> horrific in this one. Like the other one, like the teeth are very clean and like, you know, uh, you know all in a row and everything. This one, they're the opposite. They're different sizes, they're different shapes, they're sticking out different ways, they're different shades of yellow. Like, it looks insanely gross. And then definitely this region here where the mouth is opening and you can see like, oh, it just looks, it, oh, it looks so gross. It looks like tendons and muscles trying to come together, uh, but then like splitting apart to make the smile bigger. Uh, it's so intensely disgusting, but I love it. It looks awesome and it looks terrifying. Uh, something like anything along those lines, uh, would be awesome. Uh, this one, I believe one of our friends wrote us, wrote me on Instagram and said, oh, I hope they do the Eric Larson like patches, white patches on the back of the, the fists. And here's one where an uh, artist named Chun Lo and Chun Lo drew this piece here where you just see this giant hulking mass. Uh, and then you see the unhinged jaw coming, falling out of frame. It's so big and the tongue kind of withering in the shadows there, but you see his hand up and you see the back, the white on the back of his hand. Uh, yeah, I hope so too. I did hear rumors that the Venom suit might look a little bit like the Ultimate Universe version, where he's just like this big mass. Uh, as a fan of the Ultimate Spider-Man video game, for sure, and how uh, how Venom looked in that game, and after you beat the game as Spider-Man, you could unlock Venom and jump around as Venom, and he would like just leap, you know, like six, seven city blocks, land on the ground, cause a big crater, kind of like the Hulk. Uh, he was massive and awesome. So if they do go that route a little bit, I'm totally cool with it. Uh, the bigger and scarier her, he looks, you know, the more happy I'll be. Uh, but yeah, that was awesome. This site, I thought that was a great spin. So that's, you know, I figured, well, you know what? Let's show off a lot of Venom today for Venomized Day <laughs> or uh, Venom Times Day, I should say. Uh, Venomized, speaking of, since I just mentioned it, uh, I'll show two pieces of artwork here. One of them we kind of seen before, but it's a little bit more finished. Uh, these two images are, uh, I'll pop them up one after the other. Uh, these are from our friend Iban Coella, who is the artist on Venomized coming up and the artist from Venomverse, who I just absolutely like fell in love with. I love his style. I want him to draw Venom forever. Uh, of course, he'll go on and do great things in the comic industry, I believe. Uh, but to the fact that he's, uh, you know, cutting his teeth on Venom right now and doing a great job and drawing all the Marvel characters and some of them with symbiotes. Like, I can't wait for this book. It's really awesome. Uh, so yeah, he posted some artwork on his uh, on his Facebook page. So I'll put a link down below to his Facebook page. So check that out. And while I was on Facebook, I also saw um, Marat Michaels. And I hopefully I'm saying your, uh, your name right, Marat. Uh, but uh, he posted even a drawing of this one here, of Venom ripping Spider-Man in half. So he took a Venomverse uh, blank sketch cover and he drew this and he said, hey, since we didn't get to see Venom in the trailer, here's a cool drawing of Venom that I did uh, and I never posted. And it's him like ripping, you know, kind of almost like a Mark Bagley pose where he's like doing this, but he's like ripping Spider-Man in half to do it. Uh, so I thought that was cool. So there's some more artwork for you. And the last thing we're going to look at uh, is actually from our friend Eddie Brock on Facebook. So again, his link will, uh, you know, be down below. And we're getting close to Toy Fair. So we're going to have some toy news coming up this weekend. Uh, I apologize if I don't get it right up right away. I have a busy work schedule at, at work this weekend, so I will do my best to get my Toy Fair video up as soon as I possibly can for you guys. Uh, so be patient with me there. Um, 
But Eddie Brock on, on Facebook, he took these images. These images are going to be released. We're going to see more of this stuff. Uh, we're, next week, we're going to see the solicitations for Marvel Comics in May. And we're going to learn about you know the Venom 30th anniversary event, whatever Marvel's planning for that. We're going to learn all about that just next week. So we're going to have a lot of cool comic book stuff coming up to fill in for the, the lack of movie news that we've had uh, lately. And uh, right now, we're just back into the rumor mill after the trailer, just rumors and speculation going back and forth. I'm not going to cover all that stuff. Uh, uh, but I will, you know, cover things that I find interesting that I want to bring to you guys. Uh, but next week we might learn more about the May comic books. So until then, we have these images here uh, in May for uh, in April and May. It's going to carry over, I believe. Uh, there is uh, Venom variant covers coming out. There's 20 of them total. So 20 books, you know, in the Marvel universe are going to come out with a variant cover, and on the variant cover is going to be Venom. And I'm just going to flash the images up here. Um, there's a couple of them that like, all of them are either homages to old covers or um, and I'll try to put a side by side comparison if I can, because I saw um, Eddie Brock do this. So I'll try to do that. Uh, but if you know, ch just check them out, check them out on his page, too. But check them out up here. Uh, there's some images here, like uh, like the church bell one. I'll put that one up here. And that one uh, is is a reference to the first time Venom and Spider-Man fought on top of a church. Uh, so you see that there and uh, then the comparison to it as well. So there's some of these artists are taking moments from Eddie Brock's life and drawing those moments and recreating those moments and others are recreating you know famous covers like the one where you know venom's holding up the skull and he's like ah oh, you know i killed spider-man so well or whatever you know kind of shakespearean um so you know there's artists that are doing that and then there's some that are doing their own thing as well so check out those images they're i'm um, having them pop up right now they're so awesome and uh, actually if you want to order these if you're like hey I don't know if my comic store will order because the thing is with variant covers a lot of times a comic store has to order like 20 copies or like 50 copies of um you know wolverine uh in order to get one variant cover or two variant covers or be able to order any variant covers uh so you know for that you know it makes it hard for some smaller shops across america to pick you know pick up all these variants well there is a a, a comic store in amarillo texas and i don't know their limit or how many they're going to do it's probably going to be based on orders but they are going to post or they have actually a link and i'll put it to their uh their facebook and their website i think they're called unknown comic books and i'll put a link down below to their stuff uh, but they're selling a bundle of the, all the variants for like $55, which is, I think, 35% off of what it would normally cost you to buy all the variants. Uh, and they're selling, that's a great price, actually, for $55. And you get 20 comic books, and all of them are the Venom covers, the Venom variant covers. Now, I don't know if I have the spare money for this to do that. I would love to and make a whole video and show off all of them once they all come in. Because the, the unknown comic books, they said they're going to hold on to all of them until you get the whole collection, and then they'll ship it to you. So you won't get them as they come out throughout the you know the weeks in April and May. You'll just get them all at once in May. And I thought you know that could be a good birthday gift to myself is uh, to get those variant covers because my birthday is May 11th and uh, and that I'm celebrating my birthday with Venom, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, you know I'm I'm kind of pumped for these covers. I don't normally collect variants, but to see them be based on you know old classic covers of Venom and then also like key moments in his life and his history, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I think there's even one with like She Venom. Uh, on one of the covers as well so you know i'm digging this i think it looks really cool and also in april they're releasing a bunch of you know you know big moments in the character's history in venom they're releasing single issues for one dollar each they're going to do 10 of them and i found out that unknown comic books is also going to be selling that bundle for 11 dollars. you get all 10 of those books so if you just want to order these and you know you're going to get them and you don't want to stress about going to your comic store every week to make sure you get the variants this is the way to do it. And I may have to do that because I don't think Golden Apple will order enough to get all these variants. And I don't think House of Secrets will either. Um, you know, I think I'm pretty much one of the only few Venom fans that shops at either of those stores. So, uh, so I don't know if they'll order enough uh, to to get those variants. So I may put in an order to get not only the 10 $1 issues, but also the, um, the the 20 variant covers. And then together that makes 30 for 30 years of Venom. So that's pretty awesome. So you guys check all that stuff out. Let me know what you think about the stuff we talked about in this video. Are you excited for Venomize coming out? Are you excited for Toy Fair coming out this weekend? Uh, are you excited for these images, these variant covers? You know, if you are, put in an order, you know, support this local comic store or this, they're not local to me, but support this comic store in Amarillo, Texas who are running these great deals and uh, and willing to uh, you know do all the hard work for you guys and ship you just the coolest covers that Marvel's putting out uh, this summer. So thank you guys as always for watching my channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.